Oh yes, hello! I'm Dan Morrow, owner of the Gallery at Ten Oaks, coming to you with another installment of Life at the Gallery at Ten Oaks. And guess what? It has been exactly one year this week since we started doing our video series of Life at the Gallery at Ten Oaks. What a fascinating year it's been, and here we are 48 episodes later, I'm not sure if we've learned anything, but uh, we've had a heck of a lot of fun and sold a lot of art along the way. And speaking of which, we started off our first video a year ago celebrating the arrival of brand new pieces from artist Helvie Smith. And here again this week, we are celebrating the arrival of more new pieces from artist Helvie Smith. Just take a look at two pieces here, these two beautiful rectangular owl pieces that she's produced. This and many more is available on the website and followers of Helvie Smith have cause to rejoice once again. Well, having said that, we have now gone through and called out a bunch of highlights from our video over the past year, and uh, we, as, as we go through these, we can see whether we've actually learned anything. Um, well, let, let's take a look. At first, we're starting off with uh, me being inspired to make my own pieces of art. Let's see how that went. So here you can see you can create your own lovely still life yourself. You'd be proud to hang this on your, the wall of your home or office. Maybe. Maybe you wouldn't. I'll sell this one to you if you like. You know, you can build your own mosaic, uh, and this really could become like a treasured family heirloom. You'll get a lot of praise from your friends and family. I'm just putting the finishing touches on this guy. We'll put, put some eyes on here. I, I think this is really going to be something we can all be proud of and you can see how easy it is to build your own mosaic and oh son of Tatum O'Neill this is really hard scissors are tough maybe the best way to do this actually is to get some leverage on it here and oh okay this paper's actually kind of hard let's I think what we can do is you can you can make your own fantastic metal sculpture using a simple coat hanger. These are some base materials uh, you can use. Let's uh, let's see best here how how you can do this. Hang on. Working with metal is all about finding the exact right tensile strength that you're. Wow! Ah, Set up. Um, oh, see, there's a selfie my wife and I took together. That's I'm sure someday our kids will appreciate having that to remember us by. Um, it's probably my finger when I was trying to get a picture of some of Joel's cloud pictures. Okay, photography is really hard as it turns out. You can even create your own bowl. Um, Kelly Donaldson, uh, when he's at the pottery wheel, he talks about um, throwing the clay I don't see how that helps, and it just makes my wife mad. Okay, well, maybe that didn't go so hot on several occasions. Uh, maybe I'm not cut out to make my own art, but and I should leave that to the professionals. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, just like we've gotten to know each of the Kronken over the years, we take great pride in getting to know our artists. Here's a summary of how that went. And look at this, here is artist Arlen Gilliland now, straight from Newport, Arlen. No, no, Dan, that's, that's Rick Sanche. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the other artists, but I, I love his work. I'm really anxious to meet him tomorrow. I think he does wonderful work, but no, I, I'm dropping off a new painting. These are my pieces back here, Rick Sanche. I've been Sanche. in your gallery for almost two years now. Huh, go about a year and a half. Okay. In fact, we're lucky to have Joel Zach with us this morning. Joel, welcome. It's nice to see you here. No, 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 Dan. It's Rick Sanche. I'm here to drop a piece off. But Joel's work is incredible. I love Joel's photography. In fact, you've been on his radio show twice. So you should remember Joel. We're here on location hoping to get some help. Uh, I think it's. Dan, what, what do you want? Yeah, yes, hello. Why? Okay, we're, we're, we're here with artist Rick Sanche, no, everyone. No, I'm. B.G. Dodson. B.G. Dodson. Not Rick Shea. No. Uh, oh, you're the father of the Kroken, then. I am the father oh, of the Kroken. Thank goodness. Okay, we've come to the right place. B.G. Dodson. What does the G stand for? Uh, none of your business. Huh. Okay, well, we'll just call you Bob. That works. Okay. We have one of our artists on the phone here, on speakerphone. Some sort of Skype something. I don't know what it is. Um, 
I believe this is artist Bob Dodson. Bob, are you there? Uh, uh, no, Dan, this is Tom. Tom Lennon. I'm sorry. Yeah, not Bob. I had a note here that perhaps it was Rick Shanche. Um, no, no, it's Tom. Tom Lennon. No. Uh, oh, and in fact, here's Gabriel this morning. Gabriel, it's nice to see you. You're looking particularly lovely today, well, I'm, Gabriel. I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad you think so. But I'm not Gabriel. I'm Rick Shanche. Uh, I'm dropping off this piece of artwork. I've been trying to drop it off now for the, about the past five minutes, and I. Hi, hang on. Uh, we're filming a live video, sir. I am artist B. J. B. Hickerson. You are. Interesting, okay. I, this doesn't quite mesh with my version of reality, but there's a lot that does. Well, I, okay. Let's meet some of these artists. Uh, here we have artist Gail Padamonte. Gail, it's so nice to have you here today. Her pieces are quite beautiful, but I'm yes. Rick Shanche. I'm not, I'm not Gail, but I really like her work. Uh, so Let's... with me today is guest artist Rick Shanche appearing on our live stream. It's Whitney, Whitney Jane. You're Whitney Jane? Yeah, this is my, my oh, son. Oh, fantastic. Whitney, so nice to meet you. You have some really beautiful... This is all your work here, then. Okay. Well, here is artist Mary Wheel. Uh, she's working in pastels, lots of plain air work from Dundee. Mary, it's uh, wonderful to see you here today. Thank you no, for coming on our video. I appreciate I'm Rich it. This is my artwork here. Bye, Dan. I am blocking your call. Whoa. It's wonderful to have you here, oh, Fuse yeah. Class Artist Joanne Welder. Thank you for being here. Uh, thanks, Dan. Um, I'm actually a rich shot shape. We've got one more week of Dan Homeris' show. At... Oh, sweet mercy. Who let you in? Hello, Moral. Um, your wife let me in. <sighs> Running a gallery is not always easy, and, and sometimes there is a dark side. <sighs> Let's... Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Dear Gallery at Ten Oaks, please stop making fun of Dan Homeris. He's my favorite artist. Sincerely, Mrs. Homeris. This piece here, this, this later than you think, Dan Homeris. Oh. This is it. This is the perfect piece. This is the perfect piece. Look at it. It's, it's perfect. I tell you what, why don't you keep looking what and I'm see if you can find another piece by somebody other than Dan Homer. After reviewing a photo from the reception, I see that ringleader Scott Fitzwater was fraternizing with my arch nemesis, Dan Homeris. So now it appears that Scott Fitzwater is being sucked into some sort of axis of evil. Well, it's on letterhead. It says, from the studio of Dan Homeris. Um... You know what, it, it, it looks like a very professional letter. Hopefully this is something being sent to us to kind of make up for some of the, the, the past divisions between us, uh, some of the horrible things that he said to us and the, and the way that he has treated us. Um, let's, let's just see what this says. You suck, Moro. It's the Gallery of Ten Oaks. Oh, You're delivering is this is... your new, it's your Dan Homeris piece. Oh, the Dan Homeris piece. That guy's yeah. so nice. Come on in. Oh, Bring it in here. That's why did you say that to begin with? If you see our posts on Facebook, make sure to like or share us. We got lots of fantastic artists. And also that no good Dan Homeris. Despicable. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, you can see from all that just what a despicable human being Dan Homeris is and what we've had to put up with throughout the years at the gallery. Yes, I will admit he does have nice art, but in person he's just such a horrible person. So, you know, you should feel safe coming down to the gallery, of course. Most times he's not here. But if you ever do come into the gallery while he's here, definitely do not make eye contact. That's the safest way to go with this. And then, oh, here's, oh, you must be artist Rick Shanche. Not so, Moral. Oh, son of Tatum O'Neill, why does this keep happening?